What is going on everybody? Today I'm hanging out at the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. And today I wanna to show you two versions of a GMC coach, one that's completely original and then one that's been totally decked out with a half million dollar renovation. A huge thanks to Dean Lauk's Fine Art for sponsoring today's video. I'm in turtle mode. I really wanna focus on the turtles for a year. They are endangered. It's interesting to see how many eggs are laid, how many turtles go in the sea, and then how many actually survive later. I'm gonna have many of my pieces down in Florida. That's where I'll be doing my work over the winter time. And I'd love to set up an appointment and meet you if you would like to have a painting. So you can visit the shop in Elkhart, Indiana. You can always call the shop at 574-522-8838. So this is a 1977 GMC motorhome. It was restored by FMCA members Bob and Janet Prince. They definitely wanted to go way over the top with this build. They found this motorhome parked next to a dumpster. It was definitely very weathered. It had a rotted awning, flat tires. They wanted to downsize their RV, but they wanted a really high quality rig. So they liked the style of the classic GMC body. It has iconic lines. The owners of this coach originally were in a 45 foot Prevo coach. The paint alone, they spent upwards of $100,000 on this paint. They had estimated that the entire build, they spent over a half million dollars between the exterior and the interior. Unfortunately, after they spent all this money on this coach, it still didn't ride like they liked in their Prevo, so they donated it to a museum. Bob and Janet Prince, huge thumbs up for donating this, and I'm very curious. They're in a Prevo. If any of you know who they are, please drop a comment below. This is a 1974 GMC motorhome. You can see that yellow and brown, good old 1970s colors. and. Still those large windows, I can see why they use this as a canvas for, uh, to, you know, to spend a half million bucks. Uh, definitely has a lot of potential, but let's see what it looked like before they did that crazy renovation. Oh, that, that carpet, I, I think we'd be okay if that color never came back. Wow, this has got some really, these, these colors are hard to make this ugly. I mean, really, that's hard to pull off. Look at this. Wow, those were the colors back in the 70s, ladies and gentlemen. Pineapple yellow, white, camel, and bittersweet. This has a full awning on both sides as well. I mean, there is some cool stuff going on in this paint, but a hundred grand for a 26 footer? I can only imagine what my buddy Dean Laux would have done for a hundred G's on this coach. So it's got the same steps that go up like we see in the, the, the finished one. And... This coach has been totally upfitted with all of the latest and greatest. You can see it's got like a fantastic fan there. And this is almost like an automotive paint with the aircraft style door that you can just push and open that up completely lined with carpet and then you could see how I, how high end of hardware that they used as well the ceiling is completely wrapped in leather here and a real nice style on the valances and all of this lighting in the leather just super tight nice little floor plan here too and then this is going to have the engine in the front end here. So it's got a, a little step up here. And this is actually like the same material I use for the slide out on my uh, Tiffin Phaeton. This little speaker here. So they did this in 2007, I believe, or 17. Let's see, 40 years. 77. So 2017. Not quite all that digital stuff and just a little different vibe in here. Yeah, you can tell, I mean, the blinds, uh, you know, just a regular ceiling. Now they did have the vents back then. They don't have the fantastic fans, but no nest system either. 
almost uh, like an automotive paint, not quite, but what do you guys think? Do you think this color will ever make a comeback? Please drop a comment below. How about that color? So it's kind of like a rear uh, rear lounge. So this is a different floor plan that that other one had a rear bath where this is going to have a rear lounge area. And I kind of like this floor plan better than what they did with that other one. But, you know, to each his own. And then you've just got a small, well, no, now I understand why they, so the difference is, is you're going to have a really small shower and bathroom. And when I open this up here, now I understand why they blew out the whole rear of the coach because yeah, that's, that's the bathroom there. Ooh, that'd be, yeah, that's, so it's a shower, um, everything all in one. really nice job designing this you can tell that whoever had this built really had great style all of the little details like the lighting right here wood grain steering wheel and it's not just part of the steering wheel the entire outside diameter of the steering wheel is all wood it's like it's got a backup camera there same automotive paint really a great job with the design and this is a really cool spot for the wine cooler built in right here nice little office area and they've got those same that same little wine cabinet like you would see in the high-end prevos this is just a cool design idea this is a little bit different of a texture on these bottom cabinets and then these are going to be more of an automotive paint the samsung tv and you know they did this recently when they've got a nest in it so this is a this is a recent build here Looks like you've got some storage across. Oh, washer and dryer right here in the middle of the coach. That's cool. Oops. Oops. And then the refrigerator has automotive paint as well. And then a bathroom in the rear of the coach here. Now, this is only 26 feet. Fantastic fan large window there next to the shower and then check out all of the cool design that they use for the shower like that's definitely something you would see in a high-end motorhome that same I, I believe it's automotive paint if it isn't please correct me but it it looks like automotive paint or some sort of a laminate with an automotive paint on it and then a huge bowl sink here too really nice design whoever did the styling on this really did a great job unfortunately ladies and gentlemen the folks that spent the half mil on this just donated it to a museum because it just they were used to that ride of their prevo i'm assuming and i'd be curious as to what they're driving now i greatly appreciate all of you watching these videos and subscribing to the channel i hope you're all having a great day thanks again